welcome to Customs Duty brought to you by the Nigeria Customs Service. My name is Ruk Ayabasha. On today's episode, Nigeria Customs Service pledges diligent commitment as the service partners Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. Also on this episode, Nigeria Institute of Public Relations honors the Nigeria Customs Service with National Award of Excellence in Regulatory Compliance as Customs National Public Relations Officer, Emerges Best Spokesperson of the Year. And also, Nigeria Customs Service retrains officers on weapon handling, organizes one month training exercise. We we'll also have the Customs Hope segment where we bring you updates on activities concerning imports and excise duty collection for the week. Stay tuned. The doors of the Nigeria Customs Service under Bashir Adewale Adini MFR remain open to meaningful collaboration, which is one item in the Comptroller General's policy thrusts. On this occasion, it is the leadership of Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria that comes visiting and behold the aim of the visit. Radio Nigeria, FRCN, is seeking a strategic partnership with the Nigerian Customs Service. Uh, we are convinced that it is no longer the era of us just sitting down in our office and believe that Nigerians know what we are doing, and so they will come knocking at our doors uh, for us to be able to carry out our mandate. Now, we believe we need to go out of our way to seek this partnership because we are convinced that for instance, with the Nigerian Customs Service, we can leverage on our unique attributes to help and assist the government of President Tinubu achieve or realize its objectives. And uh, that objective is the actualization of its very lofty economic agenda, the Renewed Hope Agenda. The Director General stresses importance of the collaboration. It is our duty as a public broadcaster with the mandate of not only public broadcasting but with the opportunity of having a vast network across Nigeria to publicize the agenda of the federal government. But we also know that the Nigerian Customs Service is a critical and crucial organization to the realization of the economic policies of this of all administrations in Nigeria, but particularly this administration. I say so because of the pedigree of the president. The president, as we know him, is an economic guru. Uh, at least his track record in Lagos demonstrates that clearly. And so I'm sure he knows how important the Nigerian Customs Service is for him to be able to achieve his objectives of putting Nigeria on the right track. We know that if we engage you properly, we will help this country in realizing its objective of making Nigeria one of the most important economies, not only in Africa, but in the, in the whole world. As he responds, the Comptroller General of Customs underscores the importance of the collaboration between the Nigeria Customs Service and Radio Nigeria as well. One of uh, the pillars of, on which I built our approach is that of collaboration. So we play very strongly on collaboration uh, because we know that it's easier for us to get the work done uh, much more efficiently, much more efficiently uh, when we strike partnerships, particularly those that are very effective and resource oriented. Over the years, I have seen that partnership uh, with the media is very, very effective. It helps to lighten our body and uh, we have found very good support. We have found very strong partnership uh, from the media, particularly Radio Nigeria. Bashir Adewale Adini MFR 
highlights that beyond revenue generation, the service carries out other key functions, which he believes partnering Radio Nigeria will facilitate getting the message across, noting that such relationship will be symbiotic. We do anti-smuggling. We want to give meaning uh, into things that are produced in Nigeria. We want Nigerian producers, Nigerian manufacturers to have value for uh, you know, their efforts. So we, want, we don't want their manufactured products to face unhealthy competitions from small good goods. So it is part of our mandate uh, to conduct anti-smuggling activities all over the country. But beyond those manufactured goods, we also know that there are goods that are unwholesome, that are on customs, that threaten national security, that threaten, threaten public order. And we also do go uh, out of our way to ensure that you know, we keep all those dangerous goods out of our shores, working with other agencies of government. But more importantly for us is the issue of trade facilitation. Uh, we are embarking on a number of initiatives to ensure that the environment for the conduct of international trade uh, is, uh, becomes more efficient and that you know, Nigerian importers and exporters get a better trade in our ports. Uh, so towards this, a number of initiatives have been uh, introduced uh, to reduce the costs and the time it takes uh, for business to be conducted around our border stations and uh, our various airports and seaports all over the country. So we are doing a lot more than people know us for. And this is why we feel we should embrace this offer that you have extended to us, the offer of this strategic partnership to use the uh, organ, the Radio Nigeria, to reach out to Nigerians and let them know those things that uh, we are doing, uh, which ordinarily Nigerians don't know. So we want to express our sincere gratitude and I want to assure you that we will accept this offer all at end. So we know that partnership is give and take, so uh, we would uh, also be willing to play our own part to give the partnership the meaning and for it to become mutually uh, uh, rewarding for the partners that are involved. The Comptroller General of Customs assures Radio Nigeria of readiness to render possible assistance as this collaboration is further strengthened. The who's who's of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations converge. The occasion is National Spokespersons Awards 2024 with the theme, Change the Narratives, Change Society. A society that does not recognize performance will continue to celebrate mediocrity. This is why we insist that as we begin to build a brand and a core profession, around spokespersons in Nigeria. It's important for us to recognize those that we will begin to look at as icons, as templates, as those who we show the way, mentor the other people that are coming behind. That's why we are taking this award matter very, very seriously. So in essence, this is a platform to recognize, to honor, to celebrate those who have distinguished themselves in various aspects of the work of spokesman and spokeswoman. It is indeed an occasion on which the Nigeria Custom Service makes history yet again. First, the service wins the Award of Excellence in Regulatory Compliance. Nominees are the Nigeria Communications Commission, Greenville LNG, and the Nigeria Custom Service. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, is the Nigerian Custom Service. The CG. Bring it up, bring it up. I'm sure you can call me a prophet now. I did prophesy that you're coming. And here you are. Yes. 
is NIPR, NIPR is him. No wonder the immediate past president is here in solidarity of one of their own. And the immediate vice, vice president, ladies and gentlemen, the Nigerian Customs Service. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. I think I should be in this photo. Then follows the best spokesperson of the year 2024, clinched by the National PRO of the Service, Chief Superintendent of Customs, Abdullahi Mewada. Announcing the winner, spokesperson of the year 2024, Only Nigerian Spokesperson Award, ladies and gentlemen. And the winner is. Of the Nigeria Customs Service. Congratulations, back to back. He has a dream. He has in the mentoring street. The strides of Mr. Bashir Adewale Adeni, whom he call his mentor. As fate to have it, the very day he joined the service, he looked up to this man. And as we say, the apple does not fall far from a tree. May one day today stands as a testimony of the mentoring agility of Mr. Bashir. Congratulations. Father, son, pose. Many years ago, he looked up to him. Today, the city, beaming with all spies, is presenting. Congratulations. As history is made, where the Nigeria Customs Service wins two awards at the same occasion, it is clearly time to rejoice. <laughs> Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. The Nigeria Custom Service invites you to an exclusive event. The e auction portal is now open, offering you the chance to secure incredible items. Here's how to join the excitement. Ensure you have a valid tax identification number, TIN, from FIRS and a validated TIN on Tax Pro Max. Sign up at auction.nigeriatradehub.gov.ng. You are to pay a non-refundable administrative fee of 1,000 Naira through the platform secure channel, which gives you an opportunity to bid up for up to two items per window with unlimited bids. Auction runs every Tuesday from 12 noon to 6 p.m. Winners are to make payments within three days and collect within seven days. For further inquiries, please visit our verified official communication channels currently showing on your screen. Act now. Seize the opportunity within the timelines and guidelines. Your chance for incredible deals awaits. This message is brought to you by the Nigeria Customs Service. Leveraging the experiences gathered by a team of customs officers who have attended various courses on weapon handling, the Nigeria Customs Service has commenced a one-month retraining exercise for selected officers in Zone A. The Comptroller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, Bashir Adewali Adini, MFR, is represented at the occasion by Zonal Coordinator Zone A, Assistant Comptroller General, Hami Swoman. This is the beginning of a new dawn in the service. The Comptroller General is very much interested in the welfare of officers and men of the service. And part of this welfare is to provide training and retraining, not just training, continuous training. This will empower the officers to perform in their various duty posts. And this will also allow the service achieve its mandate. And this is something that we plan to carry to other commands and to other federal operations in other zones. 
while addressing the selected officers, Comptroller Hussein Ejibunu assures those who will excel of better times ahead in the service. It is a great pleasure to have this course being approved by the CGC. I have no doubt in your ability to perform. It is an opportunity for you to deepen your knowledge as it relates to weapon handling and weaponry generally. Within this period of one month, we want you to prove yourself, prove who you are. From there, you will be noticed and the service will continue to spend on you so that you become more versatile in whatever assignment that you are given. In his remark, the Commandant Customs Training College at Keja, Lagos, Deputy Comptroller Haniel Haddison assures that the participants will undergo a robust training session, which will no doubt widen their scope. This one is also an avenue for us to add value in their weaponry. I assure you, sir, at the end of one month, when you come back, these men and officers will display high level of tactical weapon handling. They will be exposed to practical exercises. They will be exposed to classroom exercises. And in a couple of weeks, they will also be exposed at practical exercises on the field. Uh, they will be taken to any of our formation outside to see checkpoints activities are carried out uh, so that uh, they'll be well grounded, having received knowledge in the college and then with the combination of the uh, exposure, uh, real time activities in any of our borders. A total of 67 personnel comprising senior and junior officers are taking part in the training this time. Eagle-eyed operatives of Federal Operations Unit Zone B, Kaduna, have again taken the fight to daredevil smugglers, enabling the unit intercept items with cumulative duty paid value of 769,465,907 naira 46 kubo. The items intercepted include 698 bags of 50 kilograms foreign pebbled rice, 365 cartons of foreign spaghetti, Macaroni couscous, 136 bales of foreign used clothing, and 715 jerry cans of premium motor spirit, 25 liters each. Other items also intercepted within the same period are 65 jerry cans of foreign refined vegetable oil, 25 liters each, 12 units of used vehicles, 4 units of means of conveyance, 9 cartons chakapin extra, 15 milligrams. 425.5 cartons of foreign milky creamer and milk powder, as well as 136 pieces of foreign used tires, amongst many others. Our Eagle Eye officers and men are constantly responding to the ever newer changing tactics of smugglers who deploy ever new methods, methods in concealing smuggle rice in local flour sacks to disguise the smuggled rice as flour. It's also not worthy that we combine effective intelligence network in combating and exposing these rice smugglers. We remain resolute and will not relent, and there is no amount of trick, blackmail, or orchestrated attacks that will dampen our resolve. So. Comptroller Al Hachadi uses the medium to admonish unsuspecting members of the public to wary the maneuver by callous smugglers regarding sales and purchase of vehicles. Let me use this opportunity to draw the attention of the general public concerning the act of altering being vehicle identification number, that is the charges number of these vehicles, by smugglers who prevent arrest or manipulate the payment of duty. 
I want the concerned citizens to always examine the bin on the windscreen and that on the chassis, skeleton. That is the body of the vehicle. They intend buying because it is an offense under section 236B of the Nigerian Customs Service Act 2023. And the offender is liable to a fine of 2 million or imprisonment for term or periods of two years or both. The Customs Area Controller emphasizes that doors are still open for Nigerians who wish to regularize their vehicle importation documents. In relation to the directive of the Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, on the recent 90 days window granted to vehicle owners to protect their duty documentation. I call on the general public to utilize the 90 days window to regularize their improperly imported vehicles, especially in view of President Bola Ahmed Tulum's family disposition in the light of the current general hardship for which he magnanimously suspended the 25 penalty previously imposed in addition to the import duty and improperly imported vehicles to make it more accessible to the citizens. Comptroller Belhar Chani appreciates regular support his unit receives from the Nigeria Customs Management led by Comptroller General Bashir Adiwali Adini, MFR. The Federal Operations Unit Zone B has recorded a total of 98 seizures of 21 different items during the period under review. Hello and welcome to the segment Customs Hub on Customs Duty. This is a segment that summarizes some of the activities of the Nigeria Customs Service regarding weekly revenue generation and other related matters. We take a look at the total number of pre-arrival assessment reports issued and revenue collected from Friday 22nd of March 2024 to Thursday 27th of March 2024. The total amount of pre-arrival assessment report also known as PAR issued for the week amounts to 2,709. The Nigeria Customs Service also generated 76,127,667,243 Naira 83 Kobo in revenue for the week. In another development, the Nigeria Customs Service collected the sum of 1,229,509,116 Naira 83 Kobo from excise duty. That is all for this segment of Customs Hub. Thank you very much for being part of the program. You can follow us on all our social media handles currently being displayed on your screen. You can also visit our website at www.customs.gov.ng for more information about the service. Till I come your way again, I am Rukaya Basha. Bye.